one thing about creating resource uh, designs is trying to get the right resources for your design which is uh, very very important so sometimes it's because we don't have the resources and we're not able to do what we're supposed to do so in this design we are, are going to try to create the stuff that we'll see here all right so without further ado let us jump right into the video so the first thing i'm going to do is to get a a, a, a dark background just a dark background like this i'm going to bring in the the background background i downloaded if you want to learn how i download my backgrounds for especially koinonia this kind of design then you need to register for the church flyer design bootcamp the church flyer design mastery that course is going to teach you everything on how you can get any kind of background any mark my word any kind of background you'll be able to get it all right so maybe in this video i'm going to show you how to get one or two words that's not all in the course you're going to learn how to get any kind of background all right so i'm going to stretch this out here like this okay all right so um please drag it there it's quite big almost filling the whole design so like this something like that all right then at the base at the base here there's going to be some lighting effects which we're going to get by bringing this guy to do by bringing this guy here right now there are two things we're going to use this guy to do one of them is to have this lighting effect that's going to be at the corner here but there's a lighting effect at the corner here then there's another one here towards the top here right then there's another one uh, let's say somewhere here but we're going to increase the this just increase it like this increase it already then they come here and change the hue to something that will give you that um, orange kind of color I need something that is maybe orange. So, so let me, if I don't, if we don't get it, let's use light, right? Then let's bring it here. Okay. Then we want to bring in the um, the globe. So there's a globe. We're gonna get it like this. We're gonna get a globe. So there's a globe. There's a globe. The globe is gonna be like this. I'm just gonna crop it, crop it, crop it. So let's let's say this is our globe. Okay. All we need to do is to add shadow to it. Then make the shadow a white one. Then we'll would increase this. Then uh, we would uh, come here. Let's add that light to it. Let's increase it a little. Then let's 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 reduce or remove the saturation. Let's make it black. Then let's increase it. All right. So let's increase it like like this. Like, like it's coming from like this. And it's filling the whole guy. Okay. Okay. Let's turn it to the back. Then let's send this background sorry not this one let's lock this one lock let's send this background to the back like this so we have something like this mm. i want this uh, scale this this last slide i want it to come to the front on top of this particular guy so to do that i'm going to come here i'm going to copy this right i'm going to come here i'll go to erase color then i'm going to erase the guy so all i needed to do is to Increase this a little and then I'll start removing from here. Are you seeing that now? So the church flyer design is going to teach you everything about flyer design, church flyer design. But apart from that, you're going to be getting resources. You get a lot of resources on how to design your church flyers and everything. You're going to see all that, everything. Are you getting me now? So that's what you're going to be learning. You're going to be learning the principles of church flower design like how do you design a church flower design the pre the lessons you're going to be learning in the course is also going to teach you how to create any kind of design i will teach you how i source for my resources i will teach you a breakdown on how i source for my resources i will teach you how to get any kind of resources like i said before you will learn how to get any kind of resources you will also learn the, the psychology of color why use certain kind of colors right so i'm going to bring this one now i'm going to bring it to the top like this why I use certain kind of color for my design? All right, I'm going to teach you all that. I'll teach you also how to go about. As you can see at the bottom here, there's a light effect. So I'm going to bring this guy. I'll change it to white. So click the link in the description. The first link, the very first link, you'll see it there, and you'll be able to register for your church flyers design, the church flyer design mastery. So I'll bring this one here. I'll copy it. I'll bring it here again. Then I'll bring this guy to the front again. So I have something like this, right? okay then we're going to try to bring in the test effect right now All right so i'm just going to crop it and i'm going to remove the background 
specifically the black background all right all right if you notice very well there's a problem the problem is that the thing in the background did not remove properly so we're going to delete it we're going to go to photo room <coughs> all right sorry where is the photo room I'm going to click here i'm going to remove the background now okay so let's see if it's going to come out very well again okay so let's save okay i think it's going to save now so let's open it let's click let's come right so let's see if it's going to be okay as you can see it's best now all right so we'll just put it here around this part here all right all right so that is that so the next thing we want to do is to if you look at the original design if you look at the original design let me check if you check the original design you'll see that at the back of the colonia there's also a dark kind of background all right there's a dark kind of background at the back of the colonia at the back of the colonia so you have a back dark kind of background so to achieve that we're just going to lock this colonia first and then we're going to bring in um one of those backgrounds we'll just change it to black but we'll now reduce the opacity so that it's not just so dark like that so bring it around this part here all right so i close it a little all right so let's stretch it out okay so let's bring now let's bring now this to the front all right so that it become very very pronounced all right then we can come up we can go ahead now and bring in all right so don't in order for us to get some things right i'm going to come here and we're going to put this shape here all right so that we know exactly the point where we'll be putting all those other objects so right here we're going to get the color the color is going to be this color all right this color right here we're going to come here we're going to copy it we'll put another one here we'll reduce it all right okay, something like that okay so that we can push this guy now to the front sorry to the top where is it this guy can touch it and can push it to the top here right okay all right so after i've done this the next thing i want to do is to bring in the picture the image of um i hope it is the right image okay so this what i wanted to do is to get it separately so that it doesn't look too obvious okay so i'll bring this here all right then i'm going to i'm going to replace it with this one because i have this one already so to do that i'm just going to click on this i'm going to clean this guy all right then so that i can bring this one here where i have that so just bring it here okay increase it all right so after that after that we want to look at what else there's a lighting effect somewhere here so i'm going to copy this guy Okay, we can copy that one, but we can also use from stickers. So we can go to stickers. We can go to sticker. We can look for a lighting effect that we can actually use. So let's look for something like this, for example. We can copy it here. We can rotate it like this, and we can drag it here. So let's make it big a little, some sort of like that, right? Um. So we can come here and then adjust the color colors so let's increase this let's just adjust the color a little all right and after that we want to go over here and check for this information here so right here we have this circle where we're going to put in apostle's name so it's just going to be a black circle right there very close to him small all right it's going to be black all right let me make it a little bit light so that it's, it can be easily seen then at the base here we have the words so we have these words what we're going to do we're going to copy this one first out like this cut it and then we'll put this one here so let's look for a font that that is as long as that let's look for let's say there's this font i saw okay let's say this all right all right then we'll just drag it like this and then we'll use the same color that we used there so we'll just come here we'll select this color all right then we'll just reduce it and put it there and we can, we can drag it out so we can increase the spacing and drag it here then we can come here and we can copy this one all right then we can fix this other one here like this all right so you see the design has scattered so once you 
it's really saying quickly go here click 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 on recover and click on the first one so that your design will be recovered asap or some people say asap <laughs> so that's just it it happens sometimes when you're designing with pixel app well that's why you should also save your work ensure that your work is saved all the time so that in case your work scatters like this you'll be able to recover it back so that's that then right here we're going to copy this we're going to put information here that says 14th so let's say 14th september all right we're going to use a black test for it so come here select black all right then we we'll come here here we're going to put 25 don't forget to like this video while you are here while you're watching because you are getting a lot of value for free you're not paying me any money you're only getting value for free the best way to support the channel is to like the video watch the video watch the videos from the beginning to the ending and then subscribe then like the video and every time i see your comment i'm very very always very very happy yeah because it shows that i'm not i'm not dealing with robots i'm dealing with human beings i'm dealing with important people so every time you drop a comment i see you as a very very important person right sometimes i may not see your comments but i always i see your comment i must see your comment there are no comments i don't see on this channel i see all comments all right i see all comments so if you don't always comment sir i did not see the i didn't see the the password i always see your comment all right sometimes i choose to ignore because the instruction has already been laid down how to get those stuff so i expect that you do the thing you need to do most of my videos or some of my videos may have passwords some of them not all of them some of them may have password and the reason for those passwords is, is to engage you all right is to engage you so that you actually participate so look for those dots so this this picture is also going to be here not the flag the picture so it's to engage you so that you're not lazy all right some people they're very lazy and when you tell them that okay they should participate for so anything they don't want to participate all right so sometimes i put those password there to make you watch the video so that you can learn a lesson all right i don't just teach graphic design in those videos i also teach principles that would help you in life so by the time you because you just want to collect resources and disappear because of that you would not want to watch the video and then you miss out on what i have shared in the video i don't want you to miss out so that's why i ensure that you watch the video and because i know you will need the resources definitely so because of that you must watch the video so i can see some dots 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 dot around that place so i'm going to look for it so just look for let's look for let's go to pin interest let's look for those kind of dots Maybe we'll get it, maybe we'll not get it, but let's check. Let's click on just type um, galaxy dots. You'll see it, you'll see it definitely. Alright, so let's let's click on this one first. We'll see more. So there's some of them that are very pronounced, like this one. Alright, let's let's see this one. Alright, so I like this one because it has stars, so let's download it. Okay, so it'll be downloaded. I'm gonna come here now. I'm gonna click on this. I'm going to bring it on. Alright, so I'm gonna just remove the background by coming to erase color. I will select the black and take out the black. You see, you see the effect now. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to stretch it out from here like this. So change the color to white so that everything will just be white. All right? Okay. Okay. So that's that. So I'm going to come here. I'm just going to reduce the opacity so that it's not taking over the whole design. Then I will come here and I will click not there. Erase color. And then I will try to remove part of it. So I will try to create a circle like this. All right. I'll try to create a circle like this because I want it to fill only the part of the circle and not distort some other part of the design. So I'll try to create a circle. Alright, so that's that. So it means that I'm going to bring it where I have the circle. So I'm going to turn it like this. I'm going to put it there. Alright, so you can see it's the entry the face. That is this particular face right here. So we you can adjust it actually. So let's adjust it. I don't want it to enter the face. So can I adjust it? Alright, then we can actually come here and clean part of it again. So either this side or the other side. So let's clean one part. So let's check. Alright, so that's that. So when you are done, you want to save your design. When you are done, you want to save your design. Why not save your design? Then the information at the bottom there, I have not put it. You can actually fix that yourself. Alright, thank you for watching to the end. I hope you gain something. I hope you learned something. My name is Niamuda. The part where we have a process name, we have not fixed it also. So let's come here. Let's click on this right here. We're going to write up uh, Joshua Selman here. Joshua Selman. All right. So keep praying for Apostle. He's impacting lives with his messages. I don't know who you are or who you are, but if you listen to Apostle's message, your life is going to change. 
so that's that is it that's that it is so if you want to learn, learn, uh, learn how to get all these kind of resources and even any kind of resource look at what i'm using any kind of resources then you want to register for our church flyer design church flyer design class where you will learn how to register for any kind sorry where you learn how to download any kind of resources with your smartphone all right it's going to be a very wonderful class you're going to learn a lot you're going to learn a lot so don't miss that class don't miss that class or anything all right don't miss that class i don't know oh you're going to learn a lot so don't miss that class ensure you register Ten thousand naira is the registration fee because some people ask me now Ten thousand naira is the registration fee and it's just a one-time payment and you will join the community of awesome church flyer designers you join the community of church flyer designers and you'll be getting updated to the group as we continue to learn from time to time you'll be getting updated to the group you'll be learning a lot you'll be learning a lot so don't miss out don't miss out don't miss out so i want to do something right now i'm going to come over here where i have this going on i'm going to copy it all right okay so let's leave that so when you're done, you just go ahead and save your design. Ensure you save it properly. So Koinonia Flyer. Alright. Don't save it as blah 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 blah. No, no, no. Save it properly, okay? So that you can it's easy for you to remember, easy for you to get it back. Thank you for watching to the end. My name is Niamud and I will see you in the next tutorial. Please subscribe. Please. I am begging you. Yes, I am begging you. Your subscription is very important. Please subscribe and like this video and share it and drop a comment and tell me where you're watching from. I'll see you.